Hi, my name is Nanda Kishore. I am from Circuitech. I am the manager for an ionization in our company and we are the distributors for Simco Ion, the world's largest ionization manufacturer. So here with me today I have a very special product. It's called the 5710 Aero Bar. Uh, this particular bar has a lot of features which set it apart from all the other ionizers available in the market. This is the top in technology that you can use for nearly all kinds of applications. Not only does it have fantastic ionization properties, it's also very low on maintenance and it's got a lot of customization so that you can change many of the parameters to suit your particular application. Let me first give you an overview of the different components involved in this particular ionization system and then I will walk you through the details of each of the product performances. Now, if we look towards the table, we can see that we have a few different components arranged on the table. The first is obviously the bar itself. Um, next, the bar needs a power supply and you can see that the power supply adapter and the wire are right over here. And we also have a very handy way of operating this product. We have a remote control or a handle terminal as we call it. Using the handle terminal, you can control a lot of the features of the aero bar without directly interacting with the ionizing bar itself. This makes it very easy in a manufacturing environment where you may not want to meddle with the installation every single time. So now let me just uh, show you some of the actual details of the aero bar itself. Now, right here, let me go through each of the details. Um, when I, if you can see the different kinds of LEDs on the aero bar, we have one LED for power, which shows that the ionizing bar is receiving power. We have a standby LED, which uh, shows that this bar can be put into a standby mode using the remote control when sometimes you may need to do some kind of maintenance or operational checks. We also have an LED for the alarm. So if there is something wrong with the ionization process, if there is an arcing, or if there is something just not, uh, there is a fault in the bar itself, then this alarm LED will tell you that there is something wrong. And uh, finally, we have the IR LEDs. This is very simple. Whenever you use the remote control, the IR LEDs glow to show that they are receiving the signals from the remote control. Now, coming over here, we have different kinds of COM ports. We have one particular COM port for power and communication. Now, obviously, this is where you would connect the ionizing bar power itself so that it receives power. Further, you can also connect the handle remote terminal, the remote control, into this so that you can establish an address for the ionizing bar if you are using multiple ionizing bars. So that way you will know which particular bar you are controlling with the remote control. And of course you can um, have these going out as to your FMS if you want to monitor a lot of the different aspects of what is going on. You can send out a signal to your FMS so that you know we can remotely monitor everything else through your uh, centralized FMS system as well. And finally, we spoke about how you can power the bar by connecting the power cable into this particular port. It's interesting to note that multiple aero bars can be powered with a single power supply by a daisy chain. And if we shift the camera over here, we should be able to see the daisy chain output over here. So you can interconnect many aero bars together so that they can all draw power from a single power supply. Finally, the last aspect of this is there is an input for the compressed air. And you can see over here that this is where you connect clean, dry air for uh, carrying the ions to a larger distance. Now let me come to the most fascinating feature of this particular ionizing bar. Uh, this ionizing bar does not have emitter pins like most of the other regular ionizing bars, but rather it has a very single, very thin wire. Uh, let me try to show you this in the camera. You should be able to see now that there is a very thin wire running through the entire length of the bar. Yes.
and that thin wire is what is causing the ionization in this product okay so that should give you a good idea of what the bar looks like now let me explain the feature the important advantages of having this wire now most regular ionizers just have emitter points and they work really well for most applications you should be able to get very good ionization by having the regular classic emitter points but this particular ionizer as you saw has a very thin corona wire and there are several advantages of having a corona wire the most important thing is the corona wire produces more ions compared to, to emitter points that way you'll get more effective ionization and also when you use the compressed air you can carry the ions really far because this particular ionizer works on a micro pulse technology which means that uh, the input voltage swings between positive and negative like a pulse and it alternates between positive and negative output of ions and uh, this particular feature helps to prevent the classic problem of ion recombination that way you will be able to carry the ions to a very large distance using compressed air Finally, the remote control that is provided helps to customize the performance of the ionizer for your specific application. Let's say you have a particular application where your biggest problem is ion recombination because of the distance. In that case, you can vary the frequency of the operation of the micropulse. That way you can solve the problem of the ion recombination directly from the remote control without any complicated changes. Let's say you have a particular application where there are more positive charge and very less negative charge. No problem. Unlike the regular ionizers which swing between both the positive and the negative ions equally, the aero bar allows you to customize how much of positive ion output and how much of negative ion output just by using the remote control. That way no matter what is the kind of application, even if the kind of material that you're using in your process changes, you will be able to customize the performance of the ionizer to get the best static reduction for your particular manufacturing application. Thank you and in the next video I will show you how all of the parts are interconnected so that we can give you a quick demonstration of the actual performance of the ionizer.